Well, hello, welcome to Wellness by Design. Today, I'm Jane Hogan, the wellness engineer, your host. And today we're talking about energy medicine. And I'm really delighted to welcome back my friend, uh, Kathy Goldstein. She is an expert in energy medicine. She's been an acupuncturist. She's woven these two together, bioenergy and opened multiple uh, clinics in the health space. And she's become a dear friend. And so I'm really delighted to welcome you here today. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you, Jane. And thank you for having me back. I love our conversations, whether they're recorded or not. So I'm really looking forward to see how we, you know, where we get, end up. <laughs> yes. Well, let's, I know that you've been on before, but people may not have heard our previous mm. interview. So would you mind telling people, like, how did you get into mm. energy medicine specifically? Mm. I mean, I guess acupuncture kind of leads there, but let's let's hear it from your mouth. Right, right, right. Well, that is true. Uh, you know, acupuncture is energy medicine. A lot of the things that are considered alternative healthcare are energy medicine. Um, but more specifically, it's the it's the uh, how to how to um, help people to have tools at home so that whether they're doing it on their own, whether it's they have a holistic practitioner that they're working with, it's being able to make strides at home that are so essential, you know, so essential. So for me, um, I uh, was taking pre-med courses uh, and ended up very, very sick with Crohn's disease and ended up in the hospital for three months and ended up checking myself out after multiple surgeries, because, you know, let's face it, three months in the hospital is definitely not a good plan. So um, I ended up <clears throat> uh, working with an acupuncturist and I, the results that I had were so phenomenal. It changed my trajectory, uh, which I'm so grateful for that, you know, in, in, in so many ways. <clears throat> I, I love that. You know what? Ever since I, I don't know how old I was when I first heard about ac acupuncture and I was fascinated by it. I don't know. I've always just had this curiosity and like, why do these things work? Because we know that they do work. Um, how much depends on the practitioner? Because I remember I had some tendonitis and I was going to a physiotherapist and uh, he said, let's try some acupuncture. And I was like, yes, let's do this. I want to do, but I didn't really have any results. And I, I don't know if you know, he wasn't really mm. trained as an acupuncturist. So I right. wonder, like, right. you know, That's... you're you're bringing an energy to it as well, right? So how much Agreed. does that come into it? Yeah, so you actually brought up a really interesting concept that I do talk about a lot because uh, the energy a practitioner comes in with, as well as even just their knowledge is a huge base. And so often when someone's going to an acupuncturist, if they're traditionally trained in acupuncture, they have all of this background in theories and concepts and energy medicine. And, and you know, I wrote a paper back in uh, the 1980s about uh, how I felt like the chi or that energy flows throughout the fascia and the fascia is the key structure for the lymphatic system, especially the deeper layer of the lymphatic system. So, you know, early on, I had this concept of, of, you know, releasing the energy and creating this smooth flow in this paradigm that I had on the different parts of the nervous system, the different parts of the fascia and lymphatic system. So I do, I do think that that's a huge part of that is, is just kind of a base energy and a base knowledge. So, you know, just like if you didn't connect with your, you know, gynecologist or whatever, you would go to a different one. So don't give up on the acupuncture. I didn't. <laughs> it does work. I did, I, I did continue yeah. to do it, especially, I mean, that was years ago, but once the RA came along and I, you know, worked with one, uh, yeah. not kind of working, yeah. then I found another one and she was fabulous. Oh, good. Um, she was fabulous. And I think part of it, what knew, uh, she knew that I was really open to the whole idea of energy, whereas a lot of people just like, you know, whatever, stick a needle in, let, you know, but I, right. I, I believe in energy and well, I, you know, it's not really uh, something to question right. because it's fact, right? <laughs> that we are. Made. Right, 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 right. And so you mentioned the fascia, Kathy, like for people yeah. that don't know, can you tell them what the fascia is? Right. Okay. So really kind of the, the fascia and the lymph lymphatic system. So the fascia is an interconnected 
matrix tissue that is uh, throughout the entire body. It wraps every organ, it wraps every muscle, it's interconnected throughout the entire system, uh, you know, like in the internal spaces. And the lymphatic system has a, uh, a multiple different layers, like they're superficial and deep, let's just say. So um, the, the fascia really houses the lymphatic system. So we're talking about actually, interestingly enough, something that people don't really talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, something that people don't really talk about, which is that um, uh, we talk about the respiratory system. We talk about the uh, vascular system. We talk about uh, you know, the systems that involve uh, kidney and liver and spleen, but we don't talk about the healing system, right? Mm -hmm. Like what's the healing system? So the healing system is like, I, I think there's multiple layers to this concept of a healing system, but what is the healing system in the body, right? So um, that's the really interesting thing that that is uh, making sure that if we're addressing that, we have the best possible chance of healing. And there's multiple ways to do that, but for energy and frequencies is a great way to tap into that so that we can teach the body how to function on its own as well. Mm. So let's go into that concept of uh, frequencies. Um, some people, again, they may not be connecting like I'm, I'm emitting the frequency or I've got frequencies going on. Like what is, okay. what is meant by that? Okay. Yeah. So, so let's, so let's break that down. Right. So let me just start with like the energy or the frequencies of the cell, right? Uh, uh, the cells that maybe produce collagen because the, the uh, fascia uh, is, I mean, it's a collagen producing machine. Our body requires collagens for pretty much every cell function, as well as it shows up on our skin. Cause we all, you know, know that collagen and elastin is what really gives us that youthful look, right? So if we talk about the 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 uh, vibrational energy or the energy of a cell, we're really talking about uh, the difference, like, let's just say the, uh, um, if we consider our cells like a battery, right? Over time, that battery loses energy. And if we don't do anything to maintain it, it burns out, right? Or, right. or to improve it, it burns out. So that's kind of one way to, to know that our body is just energetic, an energetic uh, um, process. There's two other concepts to that. One of them it goes into the idea that we've talked about a little bit, which is like the different types of the nervous system, right? So the slowest nervous system is our electrical nervous system or our physical nervous system. I'm sure you mentioned that a lot because pain is totally geared towards this type of nervous system, right? Yeah. We have an experience, whether it's touching something hot or having pain, but what happens is, is that, that our body has to perceive it and interpret it. And that's all based on positive, negative, positive, negative down, you know, down the line where the information goes down and it comes back up and we have an interpretation and then we feel a certain way about that, right? So that is like the slowest uh, uh, way for our body to get information. The next one that is very engaged in this process is the liquid nervous system, right? So the liquid nervous system is, uh, you know, is, is all of the um, biochemistry, if you will, of the body, right? So if we, here's a great example. If I have an IV in one arm and it's B vitamins, they taste really strong. You can taste them, right? Uh, as soon as that IV starts, you can taste it in your mouth. But as soon as you pull from the other side, it is instantly throughout your whole body, right? So that's the liquid nervous system innervating the cells of every part of your body. So one cell, these you know, this blood vessel over here gets information and then immediately creates that information in the liquid nervous system to pass it on through the entire body. And is right? it like a series of chemical reactions? Yes. It's neuropeptides, information substances, hormones, all of those things are like this liquid nervous system that's immediate. Right. Uh -huh. And then the fastest, the fastest way for us to, uh, you know, get information is what I call the energy highway right? So the energy highway extends way beyond our physiology. It's the energy that we connect with others with. It's like that universal um, energy of biophoton light, right? 
So biophoton, our, bo our body is bio, photon is light. And we emit light, every cell emits light. And that actually is the foundation of where I've developed my, um, you know, my skincare, the little green bead that goes in every jar, the tools that I use, it's based on that biophoton uh, energy field because it's, it's uh, not only immediate, but it actually is a training system as well. So you can train the body to vibrate at healthy vibrational frequency by using that energy. That that's so cool. And you know, this, again, coming back to this, it's every cell emitting light. It's, it's not like conjecture it's proven fact. So absolutely. You know, we haven't been taught it really, right? We haven't yeah. we don't go around thinking of ourselves like that. Most of us anyway, the, yep. the standard paradigm. Some people do see light. Um, <clears throat> so you getting it, getting back to our um, people with chronic pain, um, would you say that it's uh, it's kind of energy not flowing along that highway? Well, interesting that you should use those terms because traditionally when I talk to people about acupuncture and pain and energy, is I talk to them, you know, like the way I think of it and describe it is, is that if you're doing acupuncture um, for a pain point, it's like there's a, there's someone stepping on a hose. Yeah. And when you open those acupuncture points on either side, it creates this energy that allows that to flow. So it actually is teaching your body how to function on its own to be able to move that chi, move that energy, move that flow of stagnant blood, stagnant energy, whatever that is. Mm. So um, that the little green bee that you mentioned, mm -hmm. like, so that's for teaching the skin specifically how to go into the right frequency. Yeah. So, um, so on a just on a fundamental level, so with that green bead uh, or any other tools, uh, the energy that's imprinted in those is like a harmonization, a perfect vibration of a of a young, healthy cell, whatever that cell is that I've kind of directed my, my attention to. Right. And so what happens is, is like a tuning fork when right. you have a tuning fork vibrating and that's the energy of the bead in perfect harmony. And you bring a tuning fork close to it. It doesn't have to touch it. It picks up on that vibrational frequency and starts vibrating at the exact same frequency without ever touching or doing anything, but just giving it information. This mm -hmm. is very, very much the same concept where when you use that little green bead in all of the um, products that have the um, that potentiate the not only the ingredients, but also work well with the tools that you're heightening the uh you know, that optimization energy opt. Yes. That's the facial wand. Right. Uh, then you're heightening that, uh, and that, that optimization of, of the, um, combination. Mm. So it's kind of like, uh, like you keep using it. So you're keep teaching it, come back to this, come back to this vibration, come back to this vibration. So what we're talking about here is, and I've been using, um, your true energy products for a year. Um, and, so within the lotions and so on, there's a little green bead and it's a little glass green bead. And, um, you know, in the beginning, I was kind of like, well, I, I'm not sure. Well, I didn't know what it was about because you told me, but I know people might yeah. wonder what it's about. And then so combined with that, there's and we're, we don't have to go into it all. But you, this this is a oh, <laughs> it needs a battery charged up um, the battery. This vibrates. And so you're you're kind of using it to help uh, the lymph. Uh, flow out, right? So let's, can we talk a little bit about that? Yes. So um, there's, there's um, in the process of whether it's the face or the body, the first thing, oh, by the way, I have to say your skin looks amazing. I, I meant to tell you that you're, it's, it's just the um, glow and the plumpness to the cells. It looks really, really, you look great. You look Thank great. You. I've been getting a lot um, of compliments lately. People tell me like, you look really good. <laughs> So I mean, maybe this is being kind, I don't know, but I'll take no, it. No, no. I mean, one of the things that I talk about is, is that we want to feel good. There's no doubt about it, but we really want to look good because when we look in the mirror first thing in the morning and we like what we see, or if we look down and we, you know, see our legs and they look, you know, they look nice and the cells are plump. 
we actually go out into the world in a whole different energy. So, you know, people saying to you, you look really good. Welcome it in. Yeah. Welcome it in. I right. Do. That's the energy. Good. Yeah. We've okay. kind of been taught to deflect that, but let's just yes. keep going because that feeling, right. That also has vibration. Feelings have vibration. Right. So we're taking that in too. So right. take it all in. <laughs> Let take it all in. Absolutely. So, so with this okay. system, we're, we're doing some lymphatic drainage, but then we're also like doing lifting as well. Okay. Yeah. So first things first, when we're talking about whether it's the face or the body is, is that, uh, we need to move the lymphatic system because otherwise we're just putting, you know, things on top of a, like a stagnant overloaded non-functioning system. So making sure that we move those stagnant lymphatics get them repaired so that our body learns how to do that drainage, getting rid of heavy metals, other environmental toxins, um, the body's to own toxins. Um, so that's first. And so in the protocol, whether it's the face or the body, those are the first things that, that we're working with. On the face, the second part is, is to lengthen uh, the muscles that are dragging the skin down because a lot of people don't even think about that concept. They're thinking lift, 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 fill, 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 fill. And it's not like that. What it is, is, you know, those muscles come up and they wrap around the jawline and the skin that's, you know, the, the muscles under the skin that's pulling tight are dragging down and you're losing the jawline. Mm. So uh, you get rid of the puffiness with the lymphatic drainage, you lengthen to be able to pop some, you know, beautiful lines and then you do the lifting and uh, the filling of the cheeks and eyebrows and things like that. Mm. So on the, yeah. So we're, one of the things we're doing with this is flushing out toxins. So when we talk mm. about toxins, like where are they coming from? How do we get them? And why do we need to get rid of them? Why not just okay. let them stay in the body? <laughs> yeah. So, so this is a great question because it's kind of twofold. One is we're constantly exposed to toxins. I mean, our environment is toxic. We have, uh, you know, like whether it's the air we breathe, the things we put on our body, the things we clean our house with, you know, and I know you're very, you're very big on make it as clean as you can. And as well as I am. Uh, but the other is, is that our body actually produces its own toxins. The more acidic we are, the more toxins we have and stress is highly acidic. And we, we don't, nobody gets away with out having stress in their life, especially, you know, in, you know, I mean, environmentally right now, there's a lot of stress. So um, nobody gets away without stress. So that causes acidity in the body as well. And all of that just builds up in the lymphatic system if the lymphatic system isn't repaired. We can do like manual lymphatic drainage, but what really benefits us is a system that's actually working. And that's the difference of, you know, like instead of just moving the lymphatic system, we're actually repairing the lymphatic system with the frequencies that are imprinted into the stone. Okay. The so, you know, I see a lot of people say on Instagram or whatever, teaching how to do lymphatic drainage, but you're saying that's just like draining it. Maybe if mm -hmm. we're lucky, but mm -hmm. not, um, teaching, teaching the cells how to restore their energy and, and vibrancy again. Is that right? Right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And then like on a physical side, as far as, you know, how does the fascia and the lymphatic system get, get, uh, you know, damaged? Like how, why is, you know, why, why, why do I have a damaged lymphatic system? Well, uh, if you've ever had a scar, if you've ever had surgery from a scar, if you've ever had a contusion where you bruise, if you've ever fallen, if you've ever twisted an ankle, if you've ever sprained anything, that creates the congestion and twisting in the fascia that then stagnates the lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. So by that's being able me. to, what's that? That's being a human. <laughs> right, exactly. Who gets away with, <laughs> we don't live in a bubble, right? So, you know, all of that is, is needs repairing. So if we just do lymphatic drainage, we might, like you said, we might get lymphatic drainage, but it's not going to be on a deep level. So being able to actually untwist the fascia, move the lymphatic system and re and give it the information to repair those cells so that they can actually regenerate healthy cells is the idea. Mm. And so with the fascia, do you need to, does it require like heavy pressure or is it just really light pressure? How, what works? Yeah. Yeah. So, so <clears throat> 
generally speaking, there's, you know, there's different aspects of, of the uh, lymphatic system. Um, and there, so there's a very superficial lymphatic system where we can do nice and light. It doesn't require a lot of pressure. If you have areas, which, you know, I definitely did from, I mean, what, three months in multiple surgeries and dr all kinds of drugs and IVs and things like that, my fascia was completely congested. And uh, what you can feel is you can feel um, nodules, bumps, uh, folding, thickness in certain areas. And a lot of people don't realize it, but you know, even, even like for me, even running on my forearms, I could feel a bump, 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 mm. because my lymphatic system was such a mess. We can definitely feel it on our legs. Like if you take your fingers and run them from your knee up your thigh, you can feel that bump, 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 bump. That's not just the idea that people think, oh, that's fat cells. They're, they're, that's congestion. That's the lymphatic system and the fascia being, being like stuck. So sometimes what I'll tell people do is on an area that's particularly congested, you might want to do a little bit um, more pressure, a little okay. bit more pressure to get on that deeper level. So cellulite, I mean, nobody mm -hmm. likes cellulite. Is, is cellulite a sign that there's, you know, the lymphatic system's not working well, or is that something different? Uh, actually, I do think it's, uh, I do think that there's a pair here. And the reason why is because the more toxic we are, the more our body needs to store it in a safe place. Mm. That is the perfect place to store toxins. Mm -hmm. So that cellulite can be just stored toxins that are built up. So whether you're, you know, it doesn't make a difference what your weight is. You can have cellulite at any, at any weight. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, especially for people who are thinner, they tend to um, feel more toxic and sick sometimes than people who have a little bit of padding. And uh, it's because, you know, that toxic load is so compacted that, uh, you know, that it, 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 it's hard for our body to manage. But either way, we're, you know, if, you're, if your lymphatic system is congested, you're going to experience different signs and symptoms that go beyond just feeling it. Like you're going to have, I mean, maybe getting sick easily, um, you know, maybe some of the autoimmune diseases, difficulty sleeping, uh, catching, because the immune system is so significant to the lymphatic system, right. you know, being sick constantly, all those um, autoimmune and headaches, uh, particularly if the lymphatic system of the brain, which is actually called the glymphatic system is when you, if you wake up heavy headed and foggy, that's your glymphatic system, not able to drain. You can use this tool to help that drain. If you wake up in the morning and put your foot down and you have pain, that's a congested lymphatic system. Mm. So what is that tool you were using, Kathy? Oh, this is the, this is the stone. So this is the, um, this is the body stone, yep. uh, that goes with the, uh, with the lotion. Yeah. I love and it. Uh, yeah, do you, and it feels really good too. It's just a nice, beautiful stone. That's got lots of great energy to it, like some nice infrared and then, you know, with the imprinting. So there's just something about this stone that just feels really good. Um, but I've designed it uh, you know, ergonomically so that you can hold on to it and it's comfortable in your hand and it won't slip because you don't want to drop it on a tile floor. Um, and then the other is there's three different sides. There's the rounded side, the curved side, and then the tip. And so this allows us to get through, you know, in different areas. Like for example, this curved side uh, is great for uh, bellies and uh, thighs, uh, maybe under the breast. But the, and then the other side, the rounded side is great for some bony areas like the rib cage, uh, you know, uh, the upper rib cage and things like that. And then the tip of it is nice and rounded so we can get into like armpit areas, you know, areas that require just a little bit more of a focus. It's making me think of that ad, you know, like shaped to a woman's curve. <laughs> <laughs> into all those different curves yeah i really love it i love the weight of it the feel of it and it just feels really good to, um to do that drainage now uh, i know you're probably going to explain this but um it does come with instructions but the first thing you have to do like with the face one and with the body uh, sculpting stone is open those systems right like we can't right. just start trying to drain and then not have the systems open so how do we open the systems yeah, absolutely. And in fact, actually being, uh, you know, being an, an, being an engineer, I actually wanted to, I just uh, was doing some research because uh, I always like to kind of keep up on, 
information because the lymphatic system, when I was in school, di didn't do half of what we know that it does now. Um, so it's so extensive in its ability to not only be paired with the vascular system, like travels along the same pathway as the vascular system, which it innervates every single cell to give oxygen to it. And then, uh, you know, and then connects into the, um, the, the part that gets rid of stuff uh, on that, on that vascular side on, on the, um, on, on the blood vessels. Well, the lymphatic system is, is very much like that because its job is to keep up with the potential for fluid seepage because we have to keep that percentage super low. Our life actually depends on it. So it is, if we get, if it's too high, we can actually die. So the lymphatic system's job is to keep up not only with that, but also delivering nutri nutrients to different cells. Um, you know, cre it creates hormones that people didn't know. Uh, and it also, I mean, there's just, it's so vast. So I always kind of like to keep up on the research with it because I'm always fascinated on what levels of information that we learn about the physiology of the body. I'm sure you can relate to that, right? You know what I, so, I was just thinking about, like when I first learned about the lymphatic system, coming back to engineering, and I'm a civil engineer, people call it the sewer system of the body. But it sounds like it's not only that, because you said it's also delivering nutrients and, and beneficial materials. Um, but it doesn't have a pump, right? That's exactly right. Yeah, that is that is exactly right. Re we rely on the, on the muscles to pump it, um, but it's almost impossible to to uh, get any kind of pumping action back to it to be able to, I mean, it, it has to have attention. We have to do something with it. We can't just like leave it on its own to, to, you know, to fend for itself. It needs support. Right. So, so the article, this PubMed article, which as you know, PubMed, you know, being published in PubMed is not an, is not an easy feat. All so this reviewed. article, I'm sorry. All peer reviewed, right? Yes, exactly. So the article is intercellular heavy metal nanoparticle storage and it's a progressive accumulation with a lymph nodes that, that that has a transformation from chronic from chronic inflammation to malignancy. So what does that mean, right? Not what good. that Yeah, no it's not good. <laughs> Bottom line. So, you know, what that means is that is that if we're not managing the lymph system and the lymph nodes, then we are uh uh we it, it's it's inevitable that the level of toxins that we build up will, will lead to autoimmune or worse, you know, autoimmune and inflammation are paired, right? Um, right? Or worse, which is why our statistics are so crazy with, you know, with all of the diagnoses. So you're right. The first thing we deal with, with those tools is to open those lymph, what I call portals, or the lymph nodes. So the accumulation area of the lymph nodes is what we address first, because you don't want to drain into it. If they're already congested, you've got to open them, get them moving and then drain into that. So that it goes all the way through the system to the detox dumping system. Yeah. Right. So that like pee and poop. Yes. Pee, poop, sweat, breath, right. All pee, right. poop, sweat, breath. Right. <laughs> okay. And you know, I suppose in our lifestyle now, we probably got a couple things not going for us. One is that we're not moving as much because movement mm. does help the lymphatic system, right? Mm. Uh, so we're not moving as much. And then the other thing is we're in living in a much more toxic environment. So we're exposed to, I, I can't even remember the numbers, but you know, it's so many chemicals. I just, I get goosebumps even just thinking about it. And, you know, hopefully we can do something about this world and, and the chemicals. So you know, we need to kind of take matters into our own hands, like literally <laughs> to help yes. drain the body. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. I, Agreed. I was just listening. I was just at this writer's festival, uh, where I live in Newfoundland and there was a lady there, Holly Hogan, no, no relation, but she, <laughs> she was a seabird biologist and her book was about plastics. It's called a uh, message in a bottle ocean dispatches from a seabird biologist and she mm. talked about she's been like 30 years doing this and she that what she's seen over the years the plastics the microplastics mm. and like we're not in a cold closed system what's going on in the oceans is affects us down the road too so Absolutely. um anyway it's there's we need to like 
drain the stuff out but we also yeah. there's a lot we can do to stop it from coming in as well so <clears throat> what are your thoughts on that um yes i agree uh, uh, i mean our messages are very similar in the sense of uh, uh well in so many ways right and we've talked to, that's probably our real you know our real <laughs> connection is 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 you know just that it's it's the and, and as we talked about in the beginning, you know, it's the energy of it too. So I totally agree. The most you can do, the most we can do for ourselves other than, you know, being uh, active in, in uh, eliminating and decreasing the amount of toxic and things that go out into our world. But when we're talking about our little world, our personal yeah. little world, for the microcosm, um, it is, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The microcosm is, is to be able to control as much as we can, all of the toxins that actually enter our body as well as cleaning up what's in our body. And that's not like a single feat. This is an ongoing process, just like you were saying, this is just constant exposure and it's the macro micro of it is, is that it affects us. It doesn't, it's not, you know, a thing out, out there. It affects our, it affects us because of our water and then groundwater and then plants and then so on. So uh, there's no, there's no escaping. There's no escaping it on every level level. It's a matter of mitigating and doing the best you can. And then using the tools that, you have that enable you to take care of your body so that you can help to give it good information to regenerate healthy cells. Right. That makes total sense. And so we want to be thinking about, you know, not just the elimination, but like, what are you putting on? Like our skin absorbs everything that touches it. I remember when all this first started and I was starting to go gray <laughs> and I was still getting my hair dyed and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm trying to eat all this clean food, but then I'm putting this chemical on my head and my mm -hmm. eyes are watering. Anyway, I just stopped. I just said enough. And so there's things that we can do to also limit our exposure. And, you know, we, we send a message with where we spend our money, right? Where the products that can, as consumers, we send a message with what we, what we buy. So, um, so would you say that if someone's going to go through the trouble to, and, ex, you know, buying this, this, a, a nice tool like this and buying the uh, lotion that's been imbued with the, with the, or imprinted with the right, um, vibrational frequencies, you know, it's, they, they also want to not be putting toxins on, right? Like it's kind of like, right. what's, what's the point? Um, right. <clears throat> yeah. So where, where do you. Where do you tell people to start with that, Kathy? Yeah, so um, I think on a fundamental level is reading the labels, making sure there's not phthalates. And I mean, there's just so many hidden kind of words in chemicals. Um, you know, I say, do do your research, read a label and just copy and paste, if you will, into, um, you know, an information source that allows you to be able to really see what you're, uh, you know, what you're putting on your body. Um, I think it's super valuable. There's a lot of Latin names that might sound like they're toxic, but aren't toxic and then vice versa. Um, you know, that uh, uh, it's really important to con control that. And like you say, where you put your money is a way to be able to, um, you know, make a bigger impact, make a bigger impact outside of that. So, uh, you know, I'm starting to see more brands that are carrying natural, but we have to be care careful of the concept of, natural, all natural. It's got to be not just FDA, all natural. It has to be truly natural, made from the earth, natural. Yeah. So, you know, that's important. And really looking at the ingredients. I mean, that uh, phthalates are in a lot and those are um, endocrine disruptors. Okay. And so we can really, they can wreak a lot of habit. I mean, they're, they pr probably won't kill you um, or maybe long-term they could because you can develop cancers from them. Right. But, you know, why, we don't want to do that. Like we came here to live this full and bright, vibrant life. So let's support our body in doing that by, you know, giving it the best shot. Right. So, right. Yeah. Okay. So Kathy, um, is there anything else you wanted to talk about with the, with the sculpting and, um, sculpting stuff? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, um, just kind of an, you know, what made, what drove me to develop, to develop these is, um, 
because we can be doing all of the right things, but if we don't have the, the tools to address that healing system, then it makes it really hard for us to be able to, um, you know, live our best self. Um, so I, it's a, it's a really unique, uh, innovative concept that when I first started it, people were, were, you know, were saying to me, well, um, that sounds too good to be true. When I look at your before and afters, I don't see how that's possible. You know, this, this seems not possible. These are, you know, so I was very challenged 10, 15 years ago in this, then this concept and the results that I would get even from the clinical study, I mean, Dr. Puglis, who did the clinical study, he's like, I don't know how you're getting these results, but these women look like they've had many makeovers. And so it became, it became a challenge at that time. But now I feel like people are understanding that if we're going to get healthy, we need to move towards energy medicine. It's not the future anymore. It is the current. So being able to teach our body, just like acupuncture does, teach our body how to vibrate at that perfect, younger, a uh, vibrant cellular, uh, you know, vibration is, 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 is it's the footprint. It's the, you know, here are your instructions body, you know, and every time it's exposed to it, it learns and learns and learns. So I, I, I think that's kind of really what I wanted to say is it was my motivation. I mean, other than when I looked in the mirror and went, oh my God, when did that happen? <laughs> right. And I said, I need to look at something else other than what I'm already doing. But um, yeah, that was my motivation on that is, is to be able to provide people with tools that could, that, that could help them every day of their life, as opposed to like going to the acupuncturist once a week or once a month or whatever, or, you know, going to someone who does lymphatic massage, here's the tools, here's the tools. So that was kind of, you know, we'll have, we'll have a link there so people can go in and have a look at mm. the website and see the before and after pictures. But, um, I, this is, I can't remember if I asked you this before I've thought about it before, but the, the, the green bead, well, it's green and green is often like, it's the color associated with the heart, sometimes pink as well. Like, is that, which is the, um, you know, the feeling of love, which is the highest healing vibration. So is that coincidence or, or was that planned and intentional? Yeah. So it's interesting because my brand color is more like a purple. And yeah. so people were like, why didn't you put a purple bead in it? And I was like, well, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm innately a, a healer and green is healing. And yes. green is that vibration, uh, vibrational energy that really helps the imprinting of those frequencies exactly what we want it to do. So yes, you are spot on is, is it was intentional and it is exactly for that reason is, is I, I know that that's the best, um, uh, delivery system of, of that energy. Mm. And what I've learned in, you know, the energy healing courses that I've done is, is that, that like it is the, the heart energy is the the everything else um dissolves mm. in it right so it mm. is the highest healing frequency so that makes total sense to me yeah um kathy i i i don't know if you've got anything else you want to say before we clue up <laughs> well so you and i have talked about this one as well too i i i don't i cannot uh walk away from the uh, concept that water, 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 right? So I don't, you know, not, I, I'm sure you mention it all the time, but <laughs> the reality, the reality of it is, is I don't think we can be reminded too many times, right? Yeah. So if we're, if we're not hydrated, your body is trying to move slush, right? So it needs the hydration so that we're not, you know, we're, so that we can actually detox. So you're going through all of these processes, you're eating well, you're, you know, you're doing all of these exercises and using these tools and getting these, you know, great benefits. But if you are not hydrated, we're not going to detox as easily as if we're, you know, hydrated. So right. And there's two, there's two ways that we can know whether we're hydrated or not as well. Okay. So one of them is, is that in an odd kind of way, our, uh, if we're not hydrated, our body, um, will actually hold onto fluids and give extracellular fluid. So a lot of times people say when I'm puffy, oh, I don't drink water or I take a diuretic because I'm puffy. It's just the opposite. It's right. just the opposite where you need to actually drink more water. So your body can actually learn how to use the water. 
Uh, because the other sign of the lymphatic system being congested is, is that when you drink water, a glass of water and then you pee a glass of water, it's just going right through the three, you know, kidney bladder, you know, in kidney bladder out. Right. So um, that's another sign is people go, well, I don't drink water because then I just have to pee. It's like, you know, we, you need, you need, it, it, your body will re-educate, especially if you're doing the lymphatic and lymphatic repair and drinking water, you're flushing and your body's getting that beautiful hydration on a cellular level. Mm, so this is perfect because the last question I usually ask my guest is uh, what's one thing someone could do today that's going to support that <laughs> healing environment. So you're saying drink water. Now, what's your yeah. recommendation, Kathy, for the amount of water to drink and when? To well, drink yes. So, um, there's a lot of kind of belief systems out there as far as that. For me, the biggest thing is how to remember to drink water, right? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> right? It's like, how many times do I have people, right? Right. And they go, I have, I have my bottle of water. I'm like, but have you filled it today? You know? <laughs> yeah. I use the rubber band just... method and I slide. So I slide rubber band down for each oh. every time I have glass. So. Oh, that's great. I love that. Right. So um, I actually like to fill um, a liter upstairs in where my clean water is. And then uh, I know exactly how much water I've drank by the end of the day, because I'll ask patients, uh, they go, well, I have water with me all the time. I go, well, how do you know how much you're drinking? Um, and they think about it and they go, well, actually I go, so, so if you have some way of knowing that you're drinking two liters of water a day, then you can have a liter of water and by, you know, two o'clock, you should be refilling that mm -hmm. and drinking the other half of your liter of water of day. I don't, I don't feel like, um, the time of day is as, as important as getting it in. And P I'll say this about nutrition when people say, well, sh when should I take it? Or when should I do my homeopathics? And my answer is always when you remember, or when you've triggered <laughs> yourself to remember, right? Cause it's better in, even if it's not exact timing, it's better in than not in. The other is, is, uh, if we have dry clay and you dump a glass of water on it, it's just going to run off. So, you know, guzzling, uh, oh, let me guzzle my, you know, eight ounces and then it's, uh, and then move on to my next eight ounces. Uh, it works a lot better if we can just get in the habit of drinking water throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And addressing that issue, because I hear it a lot too, like I try drinking water, but I just go to the bathroom all the time like you got to build up to it right and teach your body again like how how to manage this that's metaphor. right and it's it's funny because my husband and i mentioned we were went at this festival this weekend and we didn't drink as much water because we weren't home we were doing things whatever two of us came home with headaches I, and I'm like, I know what that is. We just didn't drink enough water. Yeah, and yeah. so trying to get out, actually, I just realized I haven't been sliding my, um, my rubber bands down today. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, I find having a tracking system just really helps because otherwise you're just guessing. You don't really remember. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And if you're tired, you're, you are generally going to be dehydrated. A lot of times people don't realize, I mean, how much more energy, how much more vibrant, how much more get up and go, how much more like, oh, you know, oh, let's go do something. You're going to, that, that is hydration, dehydration right there. That's, yeah. you know, so if you're tired, drink water. That's perfect. Kathy, where can people find out more about you? Well, so, um, I actually have, a um, a special, uh, offer for, for your, your family. Oh. Um, meaning your extensive family, right? Uh, so you can find more about True Energy or myself at trueenergyskincare.com. Um, but for your for your um, group, if you do trueenergyskincare.com slash uh, by design. So true is T-R-U energy, E-N-E-R-G-Y, skincare.com slash and by design, which everybody knows. Oh, perfect. Thank you. And what about uh, social media channels? Where can people find you? Um, if you go on the link, you'll get the links for, uh, you know, to be able to go right onto the social media um, okay. links, but uh, it's everything's under true energy skincare. So whether it's Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, so. Okay. Perfect. Kathy, thank you so much for being a guest on Wellness oh by Design today. It's such an important topic for people to learn how to release the toxins from their body. And I mean, I've really opened people's eyes today and also understanding is connected with our energy and 
You know, that's what really matters, right? We are energy. We need that energy flowing. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So appreciate you. And thanks to everyone watching, listening, listening. Uh, please hit subscribe, share this with someone, leave a comment, let us know what you got out of this. And if you know someone that needs to hear this, please share it with them. All right, have a great day. We'll see you again next week.